In this video, I'm going to be showing you the epitome of Instagram makeup. I'm sure you guys have thought, how do these girls do their makeup? So perfect. And hopefully I can shed some light for you guys today on this video. Basically, it takes an expensive camera, a lot of filters, and a lot of editing. And I love looking at makeup on Instagram. I think the artistry is just incredible, and I love the level of perfection that these girls and boys do. And I admire it a lot, and it inspires me on my makeup look. So I thought I'd break it down to the products that... I see a lot on Instagram that are so popular. If you want that Instagram fleek on point look, then you should watch this video. I will give you a lot of tips and a lot of products that celebrities and Instagrammers use. And also, just to let you know, I'm gonna be on Summer in the City this year in London, so if you're there, come say hi. I will be there on Saturday, but mostly near the end of the day. So I'm sorry guys, I've got other commitments on the day, which is really sad. I'll be there on Sunday as well though, so if you're there, come say hi. If you want like a casual meetup, let me know. I'll just be there hanging around by myself. So yeah guys, enjoy the rest of the tutorial. For you belong to me, oh my god. This hair though, girl. Um, clearly, I've just gotten out of bed. I'm gonna fix this hair later, but this is from uniwigs.com. I'll talk more about her later. So the first thing that I'm going to use is the Radio Dragon's Blur Sculpting Gel and Joyce Benelli, the Kardashian and the Jenner's makeup artist use this. Rodeo actually told me that this is what Joyce Benelli used on Kim to get her skin really plump and nice. So you just pump it out like this. Ooh, girl. For primer, I don't really usually wear primer, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to apply a lot of makeup on my face. So I'm going to be using the NYX HD Photogenic Primer. Now on Instagram, a couple of foundations that are loved are Makeup Forever HD or Nars Shea which I both have. I love those two, but today I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 6.25. I love this foundation so much. Some people don't get along with it, but I love it. I'm just blending that in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. How are you guys, by the way? I hope you guys are well. I'm really, really excited for the upcoming videos because I am doing a giveaway really soon, which is going to be amazing. It's going to be so good like like I'm so excited for the prizes to come in the post because I've ordered them last night and um, they're gonna be amazing I can't wait so stay subscribed for the giveaway I cannot wait for concealer I'm gonna be using the Kevin Kwan sensual skin enhancer in SX08 and this is used by a lot of makeup artists and I found this out from Pixie Woo so just use a tiny little bit of that and applying that under the eyes just on some target areas this is just to conceal and as you can see a little bit of that spreads a long way I think I'm gonna do one eye first before I get on with the rest of the face so I've just finished one eye guys people in the beauty world they love the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade I'm using the shade in medium brown I love it as well it's really good. To be honest, a lot of the products that I do get, I do get because of Instagram or I do get because of YouTube, but right now, mostly Instagram. I'm using an Elamasca liner brush for this. This is the best brush for this type of product, I think. I just lightly fill it in all over, and then what I like to do is get the tip of the brush and draw little hairs at the beginning of the brow, just so that it extends just a little bit more inwards. And one of the things that Instagram is really, really known for is the Instagram brow, and I achieved that using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1. I use a flat brush like this. It's a square brush. And what I do is I go against the brow and line the outside of the brow. I just do the arch, I don't go all the way in. And I just blend that out using my ring finger. For the brow gel, I'm just gonna be using the MUA Brow Define Tinted Brow Mascara in dark brown. This is really cheap, it's like three pounds. This just sets the brows in place. And for the base, I'm gonna be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. 
A lot of Instagrammers, they love to use Makeup Geek or Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows and Morphe eyeshadows as well, but I don't have any of those. I'm going to be using what I've got, the Revolution Iconic Pro 1 palette. And this is a dupe for the Lorac Pro palette. If you don't live in the US, then get this because Revolution ships internationally and it's basically the same. Look at it. Look at all the shades. It's basically the same as the Lorac Pro palette. So all over the lid I'm going to use Luna, which is a matte colour, and that's just going to set the primer. I'm going to take Drama, which is a medium brown. This is so that the other eyeshadows that you pop on top will blend a lot better. I'm going to be using Afflicted, which is a dark brown. You can go light with it and then go darker as you go along. Um, but you want to go pretty dark with this, so that when you take your photo, it's going to be real dark. You want that real contrast of light and dark, and it looks so good on HD camera. And a big thing about this look is you need to blend. You need to blend for the gods. No harsh lines, please. I'm using a tiny little brush just to redefine the crease and make it look a lot sharper. But again, keep blending that out. So once that is all diffused, I am going in with a lid colour. You can go matte, pale, ivory colour, or you can go a typical IG look, consists of a gold and a copper. But I'm going to use both. I'm going to use the gold shade, which is called Getta, and I'm just packing that on the inner half of the lid. And then I'm going to get a stage, which is a copper red, and apply that to the outer half of the lid. After that, you can just deepen everything up in the crease a little bit more if you wish. For the inner corner, I'm going to be using Dawn right here. Just a champagne and just pop a little bit of that on the inner corner. Get a tiny little brush and get Drama and Afflicted and apply that to the lower lash line. So that's all the eyeshadow work done. You can apply black or a brown on the waterline, but I like to use a nude eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Coco Gel in Nude. This really opens up the eyes. For eyeliner, a popular product is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, but I love the NYC Liquid Liner. This is the one that Crispy uses. You want to make this eyeliner on point. And for the inner corner, I swapped with the Revolution Awesome Double Flick Liquid Eyeliner. It's got a thin end right there, and I just drew a little triangle at the front for the inner corner wing. If you find it super hard to get your eyeliner really sharp, what you're going to do is just take your square liner brush or your concealer brush. I'm going to line underneath the black liner. Push it down, push the product down. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Gifted Mascara from Tarte. This is one of my ride or die mascaras. This is so good. I'm whacking that on the lower lashes as well. I want them thick. Oh yeah, um, I apply contact lenses. These are the Camerwise three-tone greys. For lashes, everyone on Instagram is using mink lashes basically. I'm using these ones, they are from the brand called Top Lash, and they are three pairs stacked together because you can just apply the one pair but I go hard with my lashes. I go intense with the lashes. <sighs> People love mink lashes because they look so fluffy and they look amazing and sharp and on point. So to highlight under the eyes I'm going to be using MAC Prep and Prime. Highlighter in Light Boost. This is a yellow tone. They do different tones depending on your skin tone, but I really love a yellow toned highlighter. And I'm applying a lot of that under the eyes. Going right in here, right next to the nose. And then I'm applying that on the forehead. I've already done this half of the face, so I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to draw a line on the center of the nose to make that appear taller. And the cheekbone right here, a little bit on the chin. I don't like to do too much on the chin though. And then a little bit on the cupid's bow. I'm using my Real Techniques complexion sponge. 
This is like the beauty blender. A lot of people love the beauty blender, but I don't want to pay that much for a sponge. So I bought the Real Techniques one instead of that one. And I just like to tap that product in. I don't like to do cream contour as well, so I'm going to contour with powders. This makes it so that the concealer doesn't look too cakey on the skin. But to set that, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is such a cult product, guys. I'm using the same sponge, actually. Mario Dedevanovic. Is that how you say it? Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. Apparently, he uses this technique because the wetness of the sponge is going to mix in with the powder, making it not look so dry and flat on the face. And it actually does work. I like to apply a lot of product on first and then just like to pat it into the skin. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the original. And I'm gonna be using Havana right here, which is a warm brown, just to bronze up the complexion a little bit. To contour, I'm gonna be using the 301 brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna be using Fawn, which is a great tone. And contour the cheekbones with this. I'm gonna apply it and then blend that up. really dig that brush into the cheekbone. I'm going to be using the same shade as well to contour the nose. For blush, I don't really know what they use on Instagram. They use any, right? I don't know. But I'm going to be using the Sleek Rose Gold Blush. And coincidentally, the product that I'm using as a highlighter is actually also called Rose Gold. Uh, it's from Becca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. Just apply that to the cheekbone on the highest point. Since they're both rose gold in tone, they work really, really nicely together and blend really well. But if you want a cheaper option, you can use the MUA Undressy Skin Shimmer Highlighter. This is iridescent gold. And why not? Let's apply that to the very tip of the cheekbone. So for the lips, I'm going to be lining my lips using MAC Saw Lip Liner. I'm going to overdraw the lips a little bit as well. You can just fill in the lips with the lip liner if you want, but I'm going to go in with a liquid lipstick because this is the rage right now on the internet. And this is Coloured Rain Liquid Lipstick in Mars. It's a darker nude colour. So this lipstick, it turns matte. Other liquid lipstick brands that are really popular in Instagram are Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I don't have. Um, Colourpop, which I don't have because they don't ship to the UK. Um, Gerard Cosmetics also has some. And lipsticks in general that are really popular are Gerard Cosmetics as well. Except for Gerard Cosmetics, I don't really see that many um, lip gloss looks on Instagram. But I'm going to tell you more about this hair now. So this hair is from uniwigs.com. She came black to blue to lime green, but I dyed the lime green to this teal colour, so that I'm Kylie Jenner. I also added two packs of wefts into the hair. You can see the gradient between the green, the blue, and the green again. And I'll leave a link in the description bar for this. She's natural human hair, and she's got a lace closure right here, so she looks a lot more natural. And I've been loving her a lot. You see that? I burnt my hand the other day curling this hair. So I'm gonna wear a heat glove. And I'm going to be using my Numi 3-in-1 curler. And I'm just going to curl little bits of the hair. I'm just going to wrap it around and leave that on for 20 seconds. You see how good this hair curls? I've got a coupon code as well, which is Mark 10, which saves you dollars on the website. So I'll leave that in the description bar. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something new. I wanted to keep this video a little bit more informative than my other tutorials. I hope that that came across and hope to see you in somewhere in the city. I, I'm thinking I might go like this, you know, with hair on and fill the fantasy with some makeup on and some heels. Let me know if you want to see me like this and if you are going to come and meet me and come say hi. Because to be honest, I hardly know any of the YouTubers that are going to somewhere in the city. 
So I'm gonna be a little bit of a loner. So come say hi to me. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for 70,000 subscribers. And again, look out for my giveaway video coming soon. And hopefully next week. Oh yeah, you should also tell me um, the usernames of the makeup girls and boys that you love on Instagram. Because I wanna check them out because I love following Instagram makeup girls and boys. So that's it guys. I'll see you on my next video, yeah? Subscribe, comment, and like. Bye! Oh, you belong to me. I got the recipe, and it's called black magic. And it's called black magic.